Hello everyone, welcome to my morning routine. Welcome to my morning routine. So today's video is gonna be a morning routine video. George is four months old and we are just gonna be going through what he does of a morning. It's not much, it's not too exciting. We'll probably get to midday and that's when I'll stop the vlog. But I hope you enjoy this video. Please give it a like if you do like these kind of videos. I did an evening routine video really recently. So if you like this kind of video, then go and check that one out as well. I'll link it up here and I'll link it down below as well. But let's get into it. Hope you enjoy it guys. So on this morning we actually woke up at about 7 o'clock so I turn on the little light and George is waking up, look at his little face, bless him, and it's really hard to get him out of this swaddle one handed so I'll come back when he is out of the swaddle. For anyone wondering this is the transitional love to dream swaddle. You are so beautiful, did you have a good sleep? <gasps> yeah, looks like you did, oh get your arm out, come on. Go. Get it out. <laughs> no matter how much sleep George gets in the night, whether he's had an awful night or a really lovely night, he always has the biggest smile on his face in the morning and I absolutely love it. So first things first, I'm going to take him into his room and change his nappy, obviously because I haven't changed his nappy throughout the entire night so it will be pretty full. So yeah, changes his nappy and again, he loves this. He for some reason absolutely is obsessed with the camera whenever it's there, he's just staring at it, bless him. I've said it before and I'll say it again, I always put a nappy underneath George before I change his old nappy. That way I've got a nappy to hand straight away and then I can just put this into a little parcel, pop it in the a nappy bin and I'm good to go. Then once it's all changed, I'll come downstairs and turn the lights on and stuff, pop something interesting for George on the television, so something like Baby Sensory, and pop him in his little chair. This one's from Mamas and Papas, it's got a little activity centre on it, he loves all the stuff in front of it. And like I said, I'll pop some sort of Baby Sensory on, he's loving this one at the moment. I think it's called something like, How to Stop Your Baby Crying Instantly. I mean, he wasn't crying, but he absolutely loves it. It's just been a lifesaver for me whilst I'm on my own, so that I can have him there and he's nice and content in his chair and I can make his bottle in peace and then I'll go in and he won't be crying hysterically he'll just be happily watching the television just literally for not even five minutes for two minutes whilst I'm using the Tommy Tipper prep machine to make his bottle so I'll literally make that it takes like two minutes and then once that is all done I will make my porridge which is my breakfast and we'll have that at the exact same time George is currently about four and a half months old and he's on seven ounces of formula at this point in time and he's roughly having four bottles a day and I think soon he'll be ready to go up to eight ounces but for now it's seven ounces. He's so alert now that as soon as I walk in the room he follows me with his eyes which is so sweet. I'll just pop his bib on and I'm just going to put him in his bouncer with a muslin. I'm going to be sat right in front of him so he's not going to be in any danger at all. He'll be absolutely safe uh, just being prop fed like this and that way I can have my breakfast at the same time as him. And I'm also going to pop something that I want to watch on YouTube and at the moment I'm loving these property tours. So they're just house tours of like really expensive houses in random places in the UK and I'm obsessed with watching them and I think it's probably because I just miss having my own house to do up and do things to it that I really like but this house is good for now. Once we've finished our breakfast George and I will have a little play. This will usually be about half an hour where we just do various things so at the moment you can see that I'm playing with him with various sort of like a treasure box, a little treasure basket I guess of things in there, random things, kitchen utensils, toys, rattles, various things with different textures and I just kind of present him things and see if he'll grab them and sort of play with them and I just have to say I've said it already and I'll say it again his favorite is the whisk he just loves that thing he's also a massive fan of this little exercise as well plus it gives my legs a little exercise as well but the next thing I like to do is try and develop the skill that he's sort of working on at the moment which is definitely rolling he's actually almost sitting up almost independently but he still hasn't mastered the roll so I think what I like to do is kind of roll him onto his front do some tummy time and see if he'll use my hand to sort of prop him up to do the next thing um obviously some pickaboo some round around the garden all the fun things that babies absolutely love George is also really tickly so absolutely loves under his armpits on his belly on his thighs he's such a giggly little boy but 
then it's time to get him changed again. Second nappy of the day. I think this one was a bit of a messy one. Hence the sleeves being rolled up as we speak. But same as before, I always get another nappy out before I take his other one off, just so that I've got one ready to go as soon as I need it. And if it's a messy one, if you know what I mean, in little code, I like to take out a load of wipes because I know I'm gonna need them and I don't have to then faff around with the wipes afterwards. <laughs> he also loves getting tickled with wipes. Plus he gives him a good little freshen up. And then he's nice and dressed. Today is dungaree day and he's obsessed with his mirror as well. He absolutely loves a mirror. Anything that he can see himself in, I'm not sure if he knows it's him or not, but he absolutely loves it. These dungarees are actually baby girl dungarees from Next and the vest is from M&S. Then I'm just going to pop him on the floor and we're going to do some folding of the washing together. Nice and fun. He likes to maybe play with things and maybe untuck them sometimes but I'm just rolling all of his clothes up basically and I'm going to pop them away in the drawers behind me. Nothing too exciting but it's part of my routine. I do this pretty much every morning whether it's our clothes or George's clothes but this morning is definitely George's clothes. I definitely realised that George has got far too many clothes in his current size so I do try and put him in like a nice outfit if I can, if I can be bothered but there's just so many clothes that he's not really wearing at the moment so I do just try and rotate them as much as I possibly can but we will have to start shopping very very soon for his six month to nine month clothes which is crazy. Once George is all sorted and all of his clothes are sorted and everything's done in his room I'll go into my room and just make the bed roughly. I'm really not about making it ridiculously tidy. I've definitely not ironed the sheets if you can tell but I'll tidy it just so that when I go in in the evening it is done so that I don't feel like I haven't done anything all day. Then for a quick outfit change into my gym gig so I will be doing a yoga session downstairs in a bit after I pop down George for his nap. Same routine as always, white noise, swaddle on and then I'll just leave him there to get himself to sleep basically. He's pretty decent at it. Sometimes he does have a little cry, sometimes he's just so mesmerised by the light in the you and the dream sheet that he's totally fine and just gets himself to sleep. But I've got the monitor on and I will be able to see him from downstairs. Okay, so back downstairs, I'm back on George's play mat. George is fast asleep. I've just checked my um, little app and he is asleep up there. Literally took like 30 seconds. I knew he was so tired. So that's perfect. I've got him there, but I can also hear him on the baby monitor in the kitchen, so that's good. And I'm just gonna clear George's play mat of all of the baby stuff and I'm gonna use it as my workout mat or like my yoga mat kind of thing. So I'm gonna do a postpartum workout with RWL, results with bump. I'm obsessed with them. I've been doing them at least twice a week. I'm trying to do like three times a week, four times a week, but at least twice a week I'm doing them recently. And it has given me the motivation I needed to just get a bit more active. And yeah, I know we're not really going out and it's a bit more effort to go out with just the baby and yourself and obviously the dog and stuff. Um, we can't really get out and do things that we would like to do. So doing the workout at home really has motivated me. They've got loads of stuff on there. The recipes are delicious, but healthy. And they're really easy, like genuinely. I'm so glad that I've signed up to RWL. I will leave a link, a special link in the description box below because that will give you a seven day free trial if you wanted to try it out for yourself. And also if you are pregnant, they have pregnancy friendly workouts on there as well, which is just perfect to me. Um, I didn't do any fitness when I was pregnant, but I kind of wish I had. It's all really low intensity, nothing too ridiculous. All of the workouts are by pregnant women or people that have had babies really recently so I just love it I genuinely love it I feel like I'm working out with friends and they have like live streams that they do on there as well loads and loads of workouts on there anyway after this I'm gonna go and have a shower and I think then that will be my morning gone which is crazy so George is likely to wake up at about half past 10, 11 o'clock, and he's due a bottle at half past 11. So I've got an hour or so to do a workout, have a shower, maybe put some face on. I don't know. Uh, maybe that's an afternoon job. I'm not sure. But I think I'm going to end the vlog here, guys. Thank you so, so much for watching. I really enjoy doing these sort of routine videos. I did an evening routine video literally the last video I posted so go and check that out if you're interested it's more centered around sort of George's evening routine and him going for bath and bedtime and all that kind of stuff so if you want to see that kind of thing then check it out but for now I will love you and leave you and I'll see you in the next video bye guys I was never the one to write up a song for just anyone I I was always the one to find myself lost in all conversations so oh. Cause I've always been told that things will unfold if you keep on waiting But then you came along and proved me all wrong I
was so mistaken Cause you glue all the pieces back together Yeah, you, you take all my wrongs and make them better 